Okay, so whenever you, you build something, there's the cost of actually building it, but there's also the research and development costs. That's right. And the research and development costs, if you build, it's the same whether you build one of them or you build a thousand. Yeah. So, for example, it might cost Toyota an awful lot of time to develop a new model of car, but then they can sell 10 million of them, and then you're dividing that cost of research and development by 10 million, which means it's not too bad. Exactly. But most rockets tend to be one of a kind. So you research and develop and you launch one of them. So that means you've got to lump all that research and development cost into the, just the one thing that you're launching. So can we get economies of scale in space, not just launch bespoke one of a kind things every time? And we know you bespoke suits or bespoke yes. anything costs a fortune. That's right. And so this is kind of this idea of what we're talking about satellite constellations, and that is building multiple satellites that are essentially identical, that do the same function. Now, there's various good reasons that this can happen. So um, there was a great project called the QB50 project where different universities each built a similar small satellite and launched it to build research. But again, if you have multiple satellites doing it, then that means multiple measurements, multiple data points, sometimes can be complementary. Now, some technology in space needs it. In fact, most famously, GPS. Now, GPS, or Global Positioning System, is actually one type of what we call GNSS, or Global Navigation and um, essentially Space Surveillance, or Systems. So GPS and GNNS, the Global Navigation Systems, you need multiple in order to make sure you're covered. So in fact, the GPS system that we use has 24 different satellites for it to work. And this is because at any single point in Earth, you need to have enough satellites to triangulate position to accurately tell you where you are. If you have less, they A may not be overhead, or B may only be able to tell your position less accurately. Yes, yeah, so these are in, we talked about low Earth orbit right. and geostationary orbit. The GPS is one of those exceptions, one of those rare things that's an intermediate orbit. Exactly. And that's being carefully worked out. If it's in low Earth orbit, you need a lot more of them. That's right. Because otherwise you wouldn't get them overhead because you only see them when they're directly overhead. Geostationary is just too far. It doesn't really tell you anything north and south. You need ones going over the poles to get you the 3D triangulation. Exactly. So it turns out you get this rather complicated set of orbits, which but someone spent a lot of time trying to figure out. That's right. And, you, and as you said, you need it. It is critical to do. Um, and you can't function without it. But if you're building 24 identical satellites, then here you can actually get the cost of economy of scales. In fact, the research and development of getting the system to work, as you said, figuring out these orbits, where they're exactly placed, how to build them, it's really expensive for the first one, but in fact, over time, dramatically becomes cheaper. So we have a few different networks that we can see. Uh, and here are the sizes. These are 20 kilogram satellites, uh, 100, 500 and 1,000 or a ton. And this is in logarithmic units of millions of dollars. So we're sitting at $100 million here. Uh, and now we're sitting at essentially close to a billion dollars here. Yep. So if everyone costs the same, then you get a straight line up here. Yeah. So if you could two of them, it costs twice as much, four of them, it costs four times as much, 100 would cost 100 times as much. So the price would go up like this. That's right. But in fact, the price is bending over. So building like 13 of these things is more expensive than building one, but it's not 13 times more expensive than building one. And not dramatically different than building nine, in fact. And mm. this is the interesting thing now that we can use in some space experiments. Yes, there's always going to be those one-off bespoke things, especially some of our favorite space telescopes. But for a lot of these critical systems that we use, weather, um, communication, GPS, or, or navigation, you can build the satellite network to do the purpose for not the cost of 24, but maybe the cost of one or two, and therefore becomes a lot more efficient in terms of the research that goes in to developing that first one. And even for our astronomy missions, yeah. a lot of them now share components, like the, the uh, uh, two Mars, big Mars rovers, yes. uh, a large fraction of the components in them are identical. Yeah. Um, and they've learnt lessons from the first one to build the second. But a lot of spacecraft have a so-called common bus. Yes. So while the telescope on them might be different, the solar panels and the navigation system and the steering system, those don't need to be different every time. So a lot of probes can use all that constant, just add a new science package on each one. Exactly, and that further reduces that cost because it's a little bit different, but it's still a lot of carryover that's the same. So there are ways of making this efficient. And so in some cases, building more can actually be cheaper in the long run than rather than just 
building one. And it's also more reliable because yep. if a lot of those things have been up there, you've probably got the bugs out of it. You've seen all the things that can go wrong uh, in the first five or so, and then hopefully that means the remaining thousand. Again, we're talking Toyota here. The, That's right. The, their first cars were like, it's been pretty bad, but after they've worked steadily and seen what went wrong and fixed it, you can get extremely reliable ones. And this is where this kind of some of these hidden costs that we don't see go into in this testing and development phase where you test it, you develop it, and once it works, it's going to work, but that cost has to come up and it kind of remains hidden sometimes when we think about these budgets.